any given point, maybe one technology was accelerating or another, never have we had a dozen of these. Um, drones are doubling every nine months in their capability. Um, the speed at which we can sequence the human genome is doubling every five months. Uh, in, uh, in neuroscience, the resolution at which we can image the brain is doubling every year. And so this is a very unique point in time where we have all of these technologies accelerating. And so the aggregate effect becomes quite incredible. Cognitively, all of our education, intuition, training about the world teaches us linear extrapolation. You take your past performance, you draw a line, here's where I might be. But on, a, on an exponential basis, it's a very different heuristic. Um, if I asked many of you, how many of you have heard of 3D printing five years ago, many of you would say yes. If I say 10 years, very few of you would say yes. 15 years ago, almost nobody had heard of uh, 3D printing. But 3D printing is actually 35 years old. But when it first came out, say in the early 80s, the price performance, the capability was terrible. Uh, you could print out 0.001 widgets per hour. Uh, two years later, it doubled to 0.002. Two years later, it doubled again to 0 0.004. Two years later, it doubled again to 0 0.008. And for a long time, it looks like zero, and we ignore it, right? Then it gets to 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.8, 1 0.6, 3.2. .2. Then we call it a black swan. As fontes de dados que a gente tem, as informações que a gente tinha até pouco tempo atrás, mudaram. A gente tem outro jeito de consumir informação. Todo mundo está gerando informação em todo que lugar, né? A gente está com os nossos smartphones, nossos telefones, nossos relógios gerando informação o tempo todo. É, e o que a gente está vendo nesse ponto é que aquele caminho que a gente tinha de consumo de informação chegou num ponto que ele é meio caótico. Eu quero consumir mais informação, mas eu não consigo. E além disso, né? No meio desse monte de informação, ainda tem um monte de ruído, né? Então eu não consigo mais diferenciar o que é importante e o que não é importante. Em 2025 a gente vai estar com 163 zettabytes de informação na mão da sociedade. A gente vai conseguir analisar como sociedade completamente somente 3% dessa informação. Does the president or CEO of a multi-billion dollar company need to know every single sale in a quarter? Probably not, right? or the chief finance officer, the CFO. So maybe that person or those people are only interested in top level numbers. What are our sales compared to last quarter? If I'm the head of human resources, what's our turnover rate compared to last quarter? If you give people too much or too little information, they might ignore it.